They are the songs that have shaped the worship experience in countless churches around the world. Timeless melodies of praise and glory to God. Join us now as Family Reunion Music presents Classic Praise. Happy Sabbath and good evening to you. Thank you so much for tuning into Advent Broadcast Network this evening to listen to songs of praise to the Lord as we welcome the Sabbath and for those who are beginning the Sabbath today. It's yet another Friday evening where we are going to watch and listen to the family reunion music and today we are doing the concert classic praise. It is a combination of hymns and songs that have been sung um, since the inception of the church and it's kind of trying to put together some sort of um, contemporary music with some of the South uh, Gospel music and I'm sure that you're going to enjoy this one today. It's going to have songs like Majesty, Worship His Majesty, songs like Bless the Lord, O My Soul and All That Is Within Me, Great Is Thy Faithfulness, It Is Well With My Soul, I Love You Lord, My Chains Are Gone and Amazing Grace and so many others. I particularly like what the producers of this this series wrote here and they said in the spirit of Psalm 47 verse 6 in which says sing praises to God sing praises the family reunion music presents a praise and worship program praise invokes God's presence and creates an atmosphere in which God is pleased to dwell worship is an outward experience of an inward change the purpose of worship is to bring us closer to God and changes and make us like him and so today as we welcome the sabbath let us join family reunion in this worship experience and let us welcome god to come and dwell among us and give us the peace that we need and lead us throughout this day i will be your host for today please stay tuned to the end i am jane Wena.
this is, I can tell already this is going to be fun. When you get together with, uh, with a bunch of friends and family and worshipers, it doesn't get any better than that. And I, I think about John 3, and, and in John 3, before that beautiful verse, God so loved the world, it says, it says just as Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And then later on in John, it says, it says, when the Son of Man is lifted high, what, what will he do? I will draw all people to myself. And so today, our job, and it's a pleasure, it's, a, it's an honor, it's a thrill. Our job today is simply this. It's not to look good or sound good necessarily, although it would be nice. Uh, <laughs> our job is to exalt the Son of Man and, and to lift him high and to glorify him and to let him draw people to himself. Us, right here in this room, and anyone who's watching this in the future, draw people to himself. So let's exalt his name. He is exalted. The king is exalted. Come on.
you've been broken and bruised from the choices you've made. Sin has a price, and so often you've paid. Oh, but Jesus is awaiting new hope. person in this room that could say that's that's me that's true no matter whatever I've done no matter where I've been grace is greater than all my sin and when you when you come to realize that it changes everything doesn't it, it changes everything I want to invite my friend Mark up here uh, he wrote a beautiful song about 10 years ago and uh, was used for the Promise Keepers tour that year. Man, if you've been involved with Promise Keepers, you might know this, but I, I want to hear, it's one of my favorite songs. I, I love the way he wrote this and um, how the Spirit used him. And I'd just like to hear a little bit about even what was going on in you when, uh, when you wrote this. Let me hear. Well, man, already we've sung three songs and we've already tried to take in some of who our God is. We've sung about His majesty how he's high and lifted up, and then Tiffany's sung about his grace and his kindness. And I already get the sense that how can we comprehend this God? It's already, he's already too much. He's, he's more than we, can, than we can grasp. And uh, if, you look at, if you look at Scripture, I think that's why there's so many names for God in, in the Bible. Because what one name can take in everything that that he is and it was a it was a study that I was doing years ago where we we looked at that and and we realized all of these names that some of them God gave himself he called himself that some of them there were people in the Bible that gave that name to God because of what he had done and what their experience had, had been the way that that he had shown himself faithful to them or something so we have all of these names and and that was where this song began was was just realizing that and taking all that in and when all of that fails we just say that he's holy and the heart of of that word is that he is just 
other than, than us or anything we have known before. Just that word holy is saying there is no one like you, God. There is no one like you. And that's, that's what this song says. Your name, meaning everything we know of you, God, all that you represent, all that you are, your name is holy. Prince of Peace, Bread of Life, my hope, my help, my friend, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, begin.
life carried me along. In my soul, I yearned to follow God, but knew I'd never be so strong. I looked hard at this world to learn how heaven could begin. Just to end where I began, where you effort is all in vain Were it not for grace I can tell you where I'd be Wandering down some pointless road to know up to me and I know how that would go all those battles I would face forever running but losing the race were it not for grace So here is all my praise Expressed with all my heart Offered to a friend Who took my place And ran a course I could not stop and when he saw in full just how much his love would cost, he still went the final mile between me and heaven, so I would not be lost. Were not for grace. I can tell you where I'd be wandering down some pointless road to nowhere with my salvation up to me. And I know battles I would face forever running but losing the race were it not for grace for the race were it not for grace thank you Jesus amen beautiful We are so grateful today for the grace of Jesus, and uh, I love to uh, I, I love to think about a man who was the original worshiper, uh, worship leader, songwriter of Israel, uh, David, and and he says something really interesting to me in in the Psalms. He says it a couple times, but Psalm 103, I'm thinking about, it, and he says, he says, I will bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And it's a funny thing to say a little bit because you're you're sort of talking to yourself right 
and and it's as if he he stepped out of himself and he turned back and he said I know you're tired I know you've got bills that you don't know how you're gonna pay I know you're depressed I know you're suffering but I also know uh, that I'm greater than all of them and and my grace is sufficient and it's made perfect in your weakness and so so I will bless the Lord and, and sometimes, sometimes we as a church, as, as God's people, we need to remind ourselves of that. One of the wonderful things about a, a day like this is that we get in a room full of people and we're just reminding ourselves, right? We're singing songs about His goodness, His mercy, His faithfulness, His grace, His love. And we remind each other, I, I will bless the Lord. You, you will bless the Lord. You will bless the Lord. You will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, forget not all of His benefits. He's healed us forgiven us he set us free that's good huh we can te- let's go testimony style so right now <laughs> so so let's sing that together let's sing uh, this reminder to ourselves i will bless the lord oh my soul all right you ready come on my friends up here we're gonna sing one of my oh, just favorite favorite hymns and many of you know the story of of this song and the way that it was written through a tragic circumstance but uh, it's again the peace of God that reminds us that he's good and that he's faithful and, um, we're gonna sing it is well with my soul when peace like a river I turn and death my way when sorrows like sea billows roll
of that song I, I all these songs just remind us of, of things from scripture and, and from God's God's word and how he speaks to us and and I think about that Psalm 47 clap your hands all you people and shout unto God with a voice of triumph and, and I know I'm this way I'm good with clapping I mean, we're good at that that's easy shouting sometimes is, is insecure there's a there's a there's a stigma to that sometimes. We feel a little insecure. But sometimes there's things that, that can only happen in the spiritual realm, in the kingdom of God, with a, with a cry, with a shout. Uh, we, we, we think about Joshua and, and, and his, his tribe. And uh, I don't think clapping would have done it, you know. <laughs> God asked them specifically, there are things in our lives that are in our way or, or just things that surround us and are big to us. And sometimes God says, we got to shout that down. we got to shout to the Lord with faith and with trust. And it's all right. It's all right. We'll, we'll get better at it as we go. Uh, one, of my, one of my favorite worship leaders is sitting right here. And uh, she is a blessing, Gail. And uh, she knows how to shout. You've heard it. I've heard it. She's good at it. But Gail, Gail and her friends are going are gonna to lead us here. Come on. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, you know those words. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't depend on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and what's going to happen? He will direct your path. I was reading this just a few years ago in my early morning devotions. And this time, the words didn't just jump off the page. They sang themselves off the page. And here's the song. And my friends are going to help me. Thank you all so much. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't depend on your understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge Him and He will direct, He will direct, He 
It says, only trust him, only trust him, only all you've got to do is trust him and he will direct, I know for myself he'll direct, he will direct your path. Sopranos, help me. Yeah. 
sing a little of that. Great is thy faithfulness. Come on. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. And all His faithfulness. You are merciful, kind, good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Well, we just had a little church. It's we're just starting though still, so we're all right. Yeah, there's an incredible story, and a lot of you know it, but back uh, in 1775. Uh, John Newton, uh, the great writer of Amazing Grace, wrote that lyric. And the incredible thing in, uh, about his life, as, we, as some of us know, is that he was a slave trader. He was involved with that for many years until the Lord in a storm, get that, the Lord in a storm turned him around. Uh, it's not the good things that always, that always get our attention, you know. The Lord in a storm changed his life and turned him to, to face him and to draw near to him. And uh, it, was, it was in that moment that he wrote this, uh, this amazing chorus. And then years later, uh, recent, recent years, a man named Chris Tomlin penned a beautiful additional sort of refrain to it. And I love how it matches John Newton's life. Chris Tomlin wrote, my chains are gone, I've been set free. 
And, and for John Newton, a slave trader, understanding chains, understanding what, what that was like to see someone physically in chains. His heart was set free. And uh, he, in turn, wrote this beautiful lyric. And now today we added to it, talking about the freedom that we have in Jesus. And some of these verses aren't going to be familiar to all of us. Uh, the second and third verses of this aren't very familiar because we didn't sing it in church, many of us. But these are the original lyrics that John Newton wrote. So we're going to sing together. Amazing grace, my chains are gone. Free. 
you set our hearts free. We can't stop singing. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Amen. Larry Ford, would you come out here? I love this guy, and I, I just met him. But he's, he's, already, he's already one of my favorite singers ever. And uh, we're so honored and privileged to have him. He's sung on many, many uh, Gaither Project, and uh, just one of the great tenor voices that you'll ever hear, I promise you that, and a, and a heart of a worshiper. Just an old singer. Heart of a worshiper, and we're going to hear from him right now. Thanks, Larry. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder Consider all of the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars and I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout. All this universe display Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee How great thou art Oh, how great thou art Sings my soul, my Savior, my God, unto thee. Oh, how great thou art! How great thou art! When Christ shall come. And take thee home Oh, what joy will fill my heart Then I will bow There in humble adoration
above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man. You were here before the world began. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what your word. Come on, sing, crucify. Crucified and laid behind the stone You live to die, rejected and alone Like a rose, trampled on the ground You took the fall and thought of me above Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what you are worth. Crucified.
that up again. I love you. that that we just sang together, a song of praise, a song of uh, what, I, what I would consider a song of, of ascription. What, what do you ascribe worth to? What do you give honor to? What do you give preeminence to in your life? And um, sometimes we can, sometimes as a church, we, we can sing uh, songs about our need and how dry and empty we are a lot. And, uh, and that's important. We need to sing songs like that. But we also need to sing songs of, of just pure ascribing worth to the only one who is worthy, the Lamb of God who took our sin and our shame. And, um, a few years ago, I, I wrote this song, and it's a very uh, simple song. That was the point of it, is that sometimes we can strive um, to do and to, uh, to measure up and... Uh, and to do the right things and to make the right decisions and we just and we forget about just being and that God's uh, God's only desire for us the thing he wants more than anything is for us to simply know him simply walk with him just to gaze upon his beauty the psalmist said and so uh, I wrote this course I'm gonna ask you to sing it with me in a bit so so study up here as we as we go you're calling me to a single devotion Simply to know you, simply to know you more. Lord, let this be my sole desire. Simply to know you, simply to know you more. One thing I ask, one thing I see, to be in your house, to sit at your feet, for so many cares, they turn me away, when I see you, all other loves fade, you're calling me. To a single devotion Simply to know you Simply to know you more So Lord let this be my sole desire Simply to know you Simply to know you Jesus, there's no one like you, Lord, to know you, Jesus, my Jesus, come and make my heart your home, sing it with me, you're calling, you're calling me. To a single devotion, simply to know, simply to know you, simply, simply to know you more. And Lord, let this be my soul desire, 
simply to know you, simply to know you're calling me, you're calling me to a single devotion, simply to know you, simply to know you, yeah, simply to know you more, and Lord, let this be my soul desire. Simply to know you, simply to know you more. I want to know you more. Mm. from the heavens to the far ends of the earth to give you life forever he left no stone unturned and before the birth of time Jesus had you on his mind so you never need to question his concern right? So what can separate you from the precious love of God? Who could ever come against His strong and perfect love? So when you're in the valley and your nights are cold and lonely, the darkest hour is just before the dawn. Nothing can separate you from God's love. Now listen carefully. He numbers each and every star, and He calls them all by name. He counts them one by one. To see that they are still in place If he cares for every star And he sees right where you are You can know you'll never fall From his embrace So what can separate you from This precious love of God ever come against his strong and perfect love so when you're in the valley and your nights are cold and lonely the darkest hour is just before the dawn remember nothing can separate you Neither death nor sorrow Not today and not tomorrow Nothing past and nothing present Nothing future, nothing ever Remember what can separate you from This precious love of God Remember who could ever come against His strong and perfect love. So when you're in the valley and your nights are cold and lonely, the darkest hour is just before the dawn. Nothing absolutely. 
absolutely nothing Oh, remember Nothing can separate you from God's love. Hey, we're going to do this. We're going to do this gospel choir style. Are you up for this? Let's let's stand up. We're going to sing this, sing about God's praise that he's worthy of, and I will lift my eyes for where my help comes from. Come on, let's sing this together. Here we go. Merciful, 
The splendor of the king Clothed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice All the earth rejoice He wraps himself in light And the darkness tries to hide trembles at his voice it trembles at his voice sing how great is our god sing with me how great is our god and all will see how great how great Beginning and the end, beginning and the end. The Godhead three in one. Oh, we know he's. 